Oh boy, it's another fine day to get some more of the spark drafting in. Let's see. Oh no, they switched it. Huh. Uh, well, I have enough for a traditional War of the Spark Draft, so I guess that's what we're doing today. So we're going to do a traditional War of the Spark Draft instead of the best of one. Um, all right. I'll just have to change that later. No biggie. That's too bad. I was really enjoying the best of ones. Well, can't have everything, I guess. All right, so let's get started. Um, I have not had a lot of success, try uh, success trying to go green, although I love that card. Plain Wide Celebration is awesome. Um, I'm wanting to say that maybe it's good enough to just go ahead and pick it and see if I can splash it and what el whatever else I'm doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. That's what I'm going to go with. All right, so we got green. This card's pretty dope. Hmm. There's a lot of good black in here. This card's pretty good, but I don't want to go as though I'm going all green. Ah, uh, it's a toughie. I think I'm going to go ahead and pick Samet, even if though that puts me deeper into home, green. You should go there now. Huh. I'm wondering if maybe I can go white-blue and just splash for green. But at both of these spells being double green, that's going to be kind of a tall order. I really had bad luck going white and green just uh straight up i think i think maybe if i do go green and pair it with one other color i'm going to go green and blue and that puts tamio's epiphany in there as the best card in that pack yeah the good green cards keep coming that card is crazy good take the splash color card just wondering if maybe I can make all this work cards good in what I'm trying to do here we end up going black there's nothing good here extra crocodiles are fine uh yes this guy fits in to what i'm doing it's a dog eat villain world out there Hmm, that seems like a good card. Obviously, so is that. I don't suppose it'll come back around. These Sphinxes I don't see very often, though, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Boy, this card seems like a solid take here. Considering what I might be doing if I end up going with another color. Like this card. I can snare spinner. With one. 
definitely the dam breaker. Uh, another hexproof croc. The spell weird. Probably won't make it to my deck. Dreadhorde Invasion. That might be worth a black splash. Yeah, I think it might be. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Oh, do we splash white too? Seems a bit much, but that card's really super good. I'll take it. And taking that makes me want to take this. And there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, but there's Sahili. Today, and why would I, I not take Sahili? Tough decision. I think I take this removal since it's easier to play. And more of them. Oh, and this guy. And more of that. Wow. <laughs> I guess. The computer values these really, really low, which is weird, because I value them really, really high. Okay, so we got to make some really drastic cuts here. Um, except for Dreadhorde Invasion, we're cutting all the black. Neoform, I just really just don't really care for that card. We'll leave that Prismat Prismite guy in there. No charity extractor. I thought I ended up with more of those than just one, but I guess I didn't. Naga Eternal is garbage. Wow, so we gotta cut ten more cards, huh? Seems a bit much. We're down to seven now. Five. We definitely only need one basic planes. basic swamp. Okay, we gotta cut four more cards to make this work. I guess we don't really need Steer Spinner with the, the Boreal Grazers in there, so we'll take him out. Maybe cut one of those. Leave us down to two. One of the Crocodiles. And we're down to one card we need to cut. What do we cut? Guess Courage and Crisis? All right, and we have a 40 card deck. Let's play it up. Technically we're at four colors, but we're only splashing for one of each black and white. So uh, we got plenty of fixtures in this deck. Not a biggie. Now, I'm just going to leave that one in there, although I may end up cutting it. We'll see. Yeah, this looks good. Uh, 
I would have really liked to have seen a land there. Here we go. There are three lands. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull out the horizon. Leave him back for defense. No Dominica? You mean Dominaria? Depending on how this goes, I'll probably end up doing Dominaria. Alright, so now we have the Dread Horde. I think we're going to put Chandler out first. Yeah, I had, uh, I had already intended to do a War of the Spark draft, and then I ended up not, uh, you know, it ended up not being the, the competitive one this time. I was like, well, darn. All right, so what do we do here? We play you. And, yeah, go ahead and submit. Where he can't do any more damage. And yep, we're gonna do it. We probably should have played those. No, nope, no, that's fine. So he's a 3 3 with no more abilities. I can attack. Ah! Nothing's working. Alright, I can get rid of him unless he wants to block, and he does. Yeah, I've done some Dominary drafts. I think I've, I think I've drafted every format that's available so far. Let's see, we got four, technically access to four mana. We'll put this out possibly next turn, depending on what he does. That seems likely. Oh man, I don't like that card. That card is good. Anyway. My strength. Hmm. Right, we're gonna go ahead and cast Fire Mind Vessel so we can start casting more things. Yes, we can grow everything. Um, yes, we will attack. Our journey continues. Oh, uh, tips for the set is blue-white flyers. Uh, go really, really hard on the flyers. You know, just like every flyer you can throw in there and uh, try to get at least one of that card. I can't remember what it's called, but the one that gives all your flyers plus two, plus two, and untaps them. That card is a house. That card has won me so many games. Um, blue and black is good. Uh, anything paired with white is usually pretty good, although I've not had a lot of success with green and white. So, yeah, he's got no way to counter this, so I think I just play plain wide celebration and do stump, stupid stuff. Let's see. We'll proliferate. Proliferate, return card, and make it 2 2. is just probably the best color in the set. It's unfortunate that that is pretty much the thing so often, but yeah, it's really, really good. What can I say? Um, and everything seems pretty good paired with white. That's why I say blue and white seem to be seem to be the best color combination, or at least I've had the most success with it. Blue and black I've done pretty well with. 
Uh, also, uh, red... Sometimes everybody will just ignore red, so you get like all the good red cards, and red and black is also a really good co color combination. And there's enough fixing in this set that if you just start seeing all the bombs, uh, like there was one where I ended up getting Liliana Dreadhorde and I ended up getting Nicol Bolas, and I'm just like, all right, so I guess I'm running four colors, uh, and it went really well. Seven wins with that. Oh, you're talking about Dominaria. I'm sorry. I'm currently talking about War of the Spark. Dominaria, white and black. White and black is a really decent combination for Dominaria. Uh, blue. There are times when you can just go mono blue in Dominaria and just dominate. But yeah, white and black is my favorite. Uh, it's maybe not the best, but it's really consistent. Gonna make the tempo play here and set him back a turn. Uh, Spell weird seems to find find a way to play here. Worthy. I have lost too much to allow yeah, we'll you to leave that on top. Um, yeah, I'll do a I'll do a Dominaria draft next. Right after this one, so if you're still hanging on with me, you'll get to see a Dominaria draft, and I will see what I can do. Whatever your plans, they're statistically like I find your attacks unoffensive. I don't know why this guy keeps saying oops, we're just gonna turn him off. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not using his ability right now. I, train I have just the trick for this. In our set, Annoyer of Judges. So the real super ability of this Dread Horde invasion is getting to where your zombie is a 6-6, so it gets lifelink and you can just start doing dumb stuff. So that's what we're hoping for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... My tolerance for cruelty died in the trials. Uh, do we need a land right now? I don't think we do. We need more castable cards, so we'll just set them packing. Swing at you, Narset. This was overwhelming. So we're gonna bubble up Mowu here. In contrasts. Mo Wu, I'm super, excellent super in annoying your... growing creature. Well, not. Oh, he too has a flux channeler. fine with him doing one damage, but not two. Or, hmm, since he's made this guy a little dude anyway, I can just get rid of him. Seems fun. I see the time for sparring. Deceit 
will never Ooh, be removed. too many lands. Killing me. Looking to elevate yourself? Perhaps a pair of stilts. about that. We strike now. Oh, nice. That's about the best thing I could have hoped for, so we'll just leave that on top. We'll go ahead and attack with the ward scale getting too close to death for him to eat it here, so I assume he'll block with something. He's got a transmutation he can grab. Wow, he took it? Color me impressed. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. And he's done. Well, that went pretty well. Yes. Yeah. Quit my job and become a landlord. It was starting to look that way, huh? Alright, so we won our first one. So let's go to number two. Nothing fancy, just making quick work of the competition. That's what we hope to do. Doesn't always happen. This deck's, uh, I'm not sure that this deck is impressive. I think it's kind of like a middle of the road uh, type of thing, but it's working. So this amount of land only allows us to cast one card in our hand. Kind of a dangerous keep here. But we have a lot of fixers and a lot of green and blue cards, and we got the green and blue already in our hands, so I'm going to tentatively keep here, knowing that I might have made a mistake. Uh, currently, I'm gold. I have been as high as uh, platinum in drafting before. Oh, we got the other Behold, uh, new wonders. island, at least. Uh, I hate that card. Well, I love it when I have it, but I hate it when he has it. Because it's good. Yeah, I figured you'd toss that one away. Seems like the right play. If you still have a yeah, get in there. you should go there now. Um, I don't think giving him haste is going to do anything for me, so we'll just uh, pass it right along. This next turn could get ugly, though. I do not like the fact that that has Death Touch. Hmm. No, I'm gonna let him hit Sigil. You will not dissuade me from battle. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So we'll get another Sigil. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I'd love here. a friendly duel. And we take Death Touch. We get another token. And then we're gonna power up one of these tokens and send it fighting back. Press the attack. Ooh, we got a rescue phoenix on top. I'll take that. And we'll go ahead and a plus we'll one counter on it for the heck of it. Why not? Let's 
seems good. We got this ward scale crocodile all set up here. So hopefully this crocodile will come down in a second and do some real damage, especially with Sahili, who can turn one of these into a crocodile, and then I can give one of them plus one plus or plus two plus one and do some real damage. Or we could do the thing, the Sphinx instead. Then we'd have a flyer that could do tremendous damage. Hmm. Yeah, one of these will get me. Oh no! He killed it at it. That hurt my feelings. Alright, so we're going to pump this guy up. We don't get haste on everybody anymore. Thanks a lot, buddy. Last him. I'll return. And. Come in for three, keep the pressure on. We still got blockers, and we will enter. I like this guy's name, Disguised Carp. Nice one. Sounds like a rap battle. Disguised Carp versus Scuzzy Lumpkin. Sup, G? Ah, uh, another one of those. That's really, really unfortunate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to block that. And he's returning stuff to his hand. I don't like it. Woohoo! Plain wide celebration. Be your best self. Genius is as genius does. All right, that's good. Down to three. You can kill that. Don't worry. I'll be quick. Now the real question is, oh, we didn't do anything. Wow. Well then I guess things get pretty simple for me because what I'm gonna do is put a counter on this. They get to tap tap for anything, so we'll cast plain wide celebration. Uh proliferate target card target card. And a token. All right, so we'll take this back, or will we? Oops! Oh no! Well, that was an accident. Oh well. That's fine. Still, technically, sets us up well for next turn. So. Definitely not what I meant to happen, though. Uh, I've killed bigger. Yes, my way is more fun.
just wanted to cast Planar Celebration, okay? I didn't even see Lethal because I was too excited about casting that. to my creations. I'm pretty sure I've just got this one in We did our big fun thing, and it was fun. But we're gonna just have to end it here. Share in my strength. Oh. Alright. I didn't play around with it any longer, alright? Um, I'm still good. I don't, I don't see any need for sideboarding here. Everything basically serves its purpose. Alright. Alright, Disguise Carp. Round two, buddy. Let's do this thing. got the prismite so we can filter lands if we end up getting our white or a black spell we have some big stuff at the top of the key we have cameo's epiphany to draw cards and sift through our deck i think this is a fine key especially with him on the play or wait no i'm on the play he gave me on the play that seems odd So we got a 2-1. He's taking a turn off to cast Gateway Plaza. Let's go ahead and get in there for two. Okay. Seems fine. Uh, we will... I want to go ahead and get this card started. The longer it's on the battlefield, the more likely you are to win the game. That seems like a good ploy here. Just gonna make it to where. He doesn't have Death Touch and is behind on mana now, so that's good. And again, we're just gonna. We're basically just gonna try to keep our zombie army safe until it gets to six. And we can start doing some real damage. That's fine. I'm not concerned about your two damage. that this does nothing against. Well. Oh, Prismite is pretty expendable now. Timing. 
Uh, now. Now we're gonna come in with the ward skill. Start threatening some damage. He's got four cards, and he's playing black. He's playing four cards or three cards? Or five. Ah, uh, I hate that card. I must work. Let's cut you down to size. That's not much. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. I've left you is all pain. right so now we got to make some really hard decisions uh, first thing we're gonna do is play Tamiyo's epiphany and see what kind of options we have available to us I think six is where we need to be for mana we don't need any more so we can send the mana packing uh, gosh I don't think we have anything impressive in the graveyard so I'm thinking we draw these two. Then he wants to block with everything, he can block with everything, that's fine. Even the playing field a little bit. He's going to get rid of my zombie army, but I can start growing it again. That is the great part about Dread Horde Invasion. It's just Headache throwing it out the there. <sighs> yep. No, sir. I don't like it. Wanderer's uh, static ability is really oppressive, by the way. I've seen it really keep people down, myself included. Okay, well that was a thing. Wow, and the Wanderer prevented him from taking any damage? I didn't even realize that was a combo. That is, that's impressive. Wow. He could have just reanimated, he probably didn't even realize that, or he could have just reanimated everything in all the graveyards. When pursuing creativity. I don't think we're going to win this one. Convention. I think uh, that command the Dread Horde just did us in. Wouldn't have been so bad if he had to pay for the spell, or pay life for those, but the Wanderer just made it to where it didn't matter. So. Oh, and Spark Harvest? Yeah, we're done. Next game. It's too bad. We looked like we were ahead on the board there for a minute, and then all of a sudden all hell broke loose. Now, do we have anything special to combat any of that? I think Teferi's Time Twist has to come in. Uh, yeah, that seems good. Okay. I think we're ready to go now. Definitely. Oh, 
Oh, this one's for all the chips, so I'll be on the play. Um, I'm... It's a little slow, but I think we can deal with it. Yeah, we gotta play him here because next turn he's gonna go with He'll be a 5-5 five five pretty much the moment he comes into play. Well, that kind of cramps my style a little bit as he'll just kill him afterwards. Still fine. We'll do this together. Still makes him into a 5-5 five five death machine. Maybe our answers are elsewhere. Unless he's got a kill spell, that'll hold him back a little bit. That's concerning. I should have seen that coming. Killed my dog! Well, we got a little more defense now. He's in a really good spot there. He's got a lot of cards in the end. He's got a lot of power on the board. He's got a death toucher, so I can't really start forcing the advantage. Oh, right on time. Almost. Almost got it. Ah. Yeah, I wish that proliferate did anything. It's fine though. I got my wall of big dudes and I need one more land to cast this wonderful card. Uh, and in my graveyard, I can bring Mowu back. I can bring the Jang Yangu back. So we got two permanents to get. Ah! Ah! A card! I hate you, Toll! Well, never mind. There went my plans. I think I just walk with this guy. Still got two big rockers. What is good or not good? Flux channeler, which doesn't seem so good without tokens. Or without uh, counters, rather. Oh, and he just cast another one of those guys. Great. I hate to do it. I'll 
Let's keep the big guy around here. Now, do I take that one out? Or do I shrink him? in my mind correctly. I think we were just going to lose this one anyway, so that was a bad play, but I don't think it really matters. Nope. Nope, it certainly doesn't matter when you draw that land that you needed a few turns ago, but you don't have the card anymore, so... Oh well. Let's wish him a good game and move on to the next match. Can't win them all. Alright, so if we lose this match, then we'll go to a Dominaria draft. Hopefully we win this one. I don't want to go straight. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I could have blocked with it, but you know what? You're right. I should have done that. Good call. I don't play with that card very often, so it hadn't fully entered my mind how it worked. But yeah, no, you're right. That was uh, not bright. Alright, so we kept the six lander, or six hander, ah, six card hand. And I did the right thing by throwing that land on the bottom because we ended up getting another land right behind it. So, not too far down right here. I would say we're taking the turn off, but we had no two drops, so we're really not. And now we got all the different color manas we need. Razor is an awesome card. It does a lot for one mana. The reach is like the best part. It has reach. Why does it have reach? Water. The only prize I desire is your head. Angrath is super annoying.
Gasmina's transmutation really doesn't do much for us here. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Well, I think that thing is unattainable, up. so stop trying. We're not coming in this turn because we don't want him just attacking down Dovin. Oh no no no, you're not rude at all, man. I I appreciate any tips. I miss stuff. I play a little fast, so I I miss stuff a lot. Um, you know, a lot more than I'd like to. Uh, I'm not a pro, you know, I'm just a guy who likes to have fun. Uh, so if you see anything, and you're like, you know, you should have done that, you know, please do throw it out there. I might agree with you. I might disagree with you. You know, we'll see. But uh, I think in that case, you were right on target. So, no, I don't think you were being rude at all. Plain wide celebration. I love that card. So. I got one card to get back. But it also gives me basically a license to do dumb things to him. All right. I think we're going to activate Skulker's ability. We're going to get rid of Angrath because Angrath's a, a static the ability is really out, crappy for us. But the embers burn on. I am going to Transmutation Burning Prophet because it getting the chance to um, scry all the time is actually terrible for me. So I will be happy to shut that ability down. Turret Ogre is good. Now yeah, we're just going to take that hit. We'll go to 12. Got another transmutation. Well, let's hear him. And we will hit next. I hope that we get a few more turns to operate. As soon as we get seven lands, we're in business. Augur of Bolus. That's a dangerous card to see here. Let's see if he gets anything or if it's a whiff. It is not a whiff. He gets a plus one, plus four reach. Little combat trick out of it. I can deal with that. At least it wasn't a removal spell. Could have been worse. There's a ward crocodile. Just improve our board state. Moving right along. Mission. I don't like that. Okay. 
to redraw off that. Hey, I didn't know it had a sound effect. That's kind of fun. Yep, coming in with a 4 4 that I cannot stop this turn. I will go to 8. Gaining 4 life on Plain Wine Celebration doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I'll use one mode to do that. Yep. Oh, well, next turn I'll be able to do it. So we cast this. Uh, we'll just target one of our fours. Nobody gets a counter yet, unfortunately. Okay, we're just going to pass this turn. Next turn we can do our plane wide celebration. Hopefully. He is run blue, so... He definitely could count it. That would be bad. He's got three mana left to work with. I'd like to see him use at least one of those. Make me feel safer about casting this card. What kind of name is EO415? Let's see, just let the computer do it for him. Or maybe that's like a special episode of something? I don't know. No, sir. I don't like it. We're just going to block. I don't want to take any more damage at this point. Okay, so with my health at 12, here's what I'm thinking. I think if he doesn't do anything too drastic here, I might go ahead and attack him with these two. See if I can force him to... Uh... Well, nope, not now. I was hoping he'd block with the guys with the uh, Kazmina's transportations on him and I could buy or one or both of them back, but now he's got a Death Toucher. Turn one permanent, and then we'll just create a bunch of dudes. We'll hold up for now, and then next turn, we should be able to start attacking for five damage a turn. Because he will not be able to block the Skulker unless he has some kind of creature removal and then he can remove. It looks like we're way outnumbered on the board, but we're actually not. It's not that bad. I mean, technically we're outnumbered by one, but... Not too worried about it. I do not like that at all. That destroys my plan, sir. <laughs> okay.
Well, that made things about 11 times more difficult. And this thing just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so we got five Your turns defects. where we can keep Don't that thing busy. You. That roll reversal really messed us up. Good old board stall. Well, that'll help us out. Doesn't really matter what we do, we're not actually going to attack with any of these guys because they'll just get eaten. Your lies will not go oh, unpunished. Oh, yeah, no, I'll keep the big guy on top, sure. in contrasts. I'm excellent in your... well, not. Hopefully we can filter down to something we can use soon. We've got no offense going in this game. A sound defense, but that's not going to win the game. Not unless he just draws out, I guess. We do have more cards than he does, so... The option of just getting him to deck himself is a that's a thing. It could happen. Looks like he's coming in hot. So this thing makes it really stupid enough. So we're gonna block, block, block. Six, we need eight. And I don't wanna block with that. I guess I don't mind losing one of these. And this thing ended up being a five. Four, or five, five. I guess I'll go ahead and sacrifice the crocodile just to get our board states because this thing's eventually going to be way too big to deal with if I just let it hang out. So, <coughs> so let's see if he wastes his combat trick here. Yep, he does. Surprisingly, he wasted on that. Um, I guess that's not too surprising, as that thing can just take off, but... I'm fine with that. That means this guy gets to live. Or, one more... Him. Oh, yes. Your defects don't seem to I you. was trained for this. Uh, yeah, definitely don't want that. 
So we'll send that back. Up. We attack, see if we can keep the defense up until we draw something that can win us the game. Gonna take him out. Yeah, this is just not going well for us. Oh, did he just come at my life? Well, I guess that's a way to win too. Oh no. will always strike true. I am really surprised you didn't Unoffensive. just kill Dovin, because then he could have just started coming in with unblockable every turn. Would have taken him a few extra turns to do it, I guess. Because he's not on lethal yet, right? Or is he? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can attack me with six creatures. I got five I can block with. Technically seven, but one's bugging, so. Alright, so now that I got this thing out. He's got six counters on that. I can... Death Touch? When pursuing creativity, defy convention. Cease aggressions and that live. Thing I don't need. Sure are some grindy games in more of the Spark Draft. That might start getting me there. Alright, let's cast you. Please don't have a counter spell. Draw a card, gain a tiny bit of life, but that tiny bit of life really matters. Looking to elevate yourself? And none of these have reach. A pair of stilts. So I can actually get in for a attack. You are blind to the truth. Definitely keep him on top. Attack. Well, I'm not in a lot better position, but I'm in a little bit of better position. See how it shakes out. Sure. when they draw exactly the cards they need.
another day. I'm sure he really I should just be attacking me every turn now. Surrender now and I'll spare you. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. See, right here, if he just started attacking me every turn, I think he's just got me dead to rights. I just, I can't, I can't keep him from killing me here. Not with a 10, 10, and a 5, 5. Well, he's attacking with the 10, 10 now. Coming straight at the life total. And the five. five. Alright, so you put this in front of him, and that in front of him. Probably has some kind of combat trick. Don't do it, it's a trick! Don't do it! Never be rewarded. Away. A few things can withstand my careful scrutiny. All right, let's see if I can hold off his next assault. Let's see if I triple block, I can defeat the tent in, but then I've got so much stuff left behind. Always enjoy it. Ah, uh, that's a good card. That card <laughs> keeps me in business for a little while over here, too. Um, Alright, so let's cast you. Get on the team. Bring Dovin back to my mind. Oh man, I just thought I should have bubbled first, but that's alright. It's fine. Then we cast Dovin. Mistakes. All right, then we put. Oh, geez. Uh, where do we put the counter? Put another counter over here. Teamwork is strength. You are blind to the truth. A lot of lands on the bottom. No, that's not what I wanted to do. No! Gosh darn it. Can I not undo that? Ah! This game does some really pretty annoying things sometimes. Alright, fine. 
I guess I don't get to kill Braska this turn. So I made a noose. Study in contrasts. I'm excellent in your... Well, not. It's fine. I got ahead of myself. Hope that's not a fatal flaw there. It might be. Puts me down a blocker, and I didn't take out Vraska. Awesome. If you see an assassin coming for you... That's a bad assassin. Well, that thing will kill me all, all by itself. Great. Seven, so five, six, seven, so we can do it once per turn. Doesn't give me long. Oh, control Z is undo? Okay, thank you. That is actually super helpful. to deal with nuisances like you. I'm not going to use his ability here. Alright, so we're going to get Raska gone. I think we're probably just dead here. On board, there's just too, much, too many attackers. Take me down to three. And if attacks with everything, then I just die. Yeah. But apparently, I get another turn. So I think I'm just going to alpha strike here for the hell of it. To bother you. My tolerance for cruelty died in the trials. Let him line up some blocks and then I'll just be done. Actually, there's no need to even wait for that. Nothing I can do. Move on to the next game. Should have done that a long time ago. Alright, so I'm just going to make that one little change there. Uh, and take in the time twist. It seems to be a better card in my deck. Than having the spell weird. Uh, there's a lot of enchantments and planeswalkers, and I don't seem to be employing as many um, instants and sorcery, so I think I'll do that. It is nice to be able to get plain white celebration back.
EO415 seems to be taking their sweet, sweet time. Control Z. All right. I'm glad I know that now. See, you've been a lot of help. I'm glad that you actually are speaking up and letting me know things. I would much rather you do that than just sit around going, man, he's dumb. Like, why isn't he doing these things? Or what? Maybe, maybe you thought, I mean, I knew something that you didn't. Turns out that's not correct. So, you know, let me know does help me. Okay, and we're ready. I think this is fine. Not great, but fine. We have a grazer. Looks like they're pumping their mana up too. I don't have much going on. A black card I can't cast and a white card I can't cast. And cards of the colors that I have on the field that I can't cast because I need one more mana. than in the Undercity. Braska is super solid. that sphinx in there. Auto Tapper was doing something stupid. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have. <laughs> I normally don't accidentally tap things, but who am I kidding? Sure I do. Enemies. 
Alright, we added a land this turn. We got a Mowu coming out. We can save somebody if we need to. We will go ahead and get rid of Vraska. Um, is this the time to save you? Think so. I think having that flyer on the board is really going to help me out. should say whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger because it works that way. And he's currently stuck on three lands, so we're actually in a pretty good spot. He's got a Paradise Druid too, so four land, access to four mana total. Have a two-two death touch. People call me a death dealer, but I rarely offer discounts. See, that's helpful. All right, so how do we want to play this? I guess first things first. Assuming there are no more tricks, I'll just go ahead and take out Vraska. More tricks. Well, that sucks. Not happy about that. We're getting beat in the trenches again. This is not looking well. A bad assassin. Hey, there's a crocodile. Not the best thing that could happen to me, but it's not the worst either. Yeah, yeah I guess I just wait. Need a couple more turns to grow this uh, this army into a life linker.
Yeah, that's fine. We could use the life. Card. Card's giving me issues. Yep, you got a flyer now. At least you didn't get the extra benefits from casting it. Actually, having Burning Prophet's not bad, so I'm... Um, Kind of surprised he gave me that. I would have gave me the strip, the stinger, probably. But I. All right, so we can play this. I. We'll keep that. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Looking to elevate yourself. Perhaps a pair of stilts. Yep, that's all I got for the moment. Gorger Weird is a pretty good card. And a card that I don't want to see him tick up to 11 next time. As he did last turn. It gets bigger. your attacks unoffensive. See what else he's got. I figured since he drew so many spells in the beginning of the game, you'd think he'd start flooding out here soon, and then I could take advantage. At least that's the hope. He's taking really long turns. Okay. Yeah. That'll get rid of Dovin. Can't be denied. I am beaten. Nobody up 
appreciate my handiwork. Oh, that's helpful. All right, so now, am I going to care if he keeps doing two points a turn? I think with what I've got on the board, I don't. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and attack. I'm not even going to worry about Brasco. I'm just going to hammer up a life total. Change tactics here. fine with that exchange. Take away that death touch. Now Vraska doesn't really do anything. And granted, he's still got a 5-5, five five, but not really worried about it. Oh, and he can make another one now. Ah! Keep thwarting my plans. in the way. So there's that. Nope. No rush to combat. Oh, I'm running out of room to store my trophies. Keeps getting bigger. Board stall is real, y'all. Ah, more land. Killing me. Seven, seven. Nope. Wish I had a stealth mission. Finally, do something good. Um, Flux Channel, or I will leave on top. Tamio's Epiphany. Hey, there's a plain white celebration. I need that. I do not need this land. I think putting this third actually works for me that way. If he has some kind of dispel card, he can't get that out of my hand before I get a chance to play. Any cool. 
cool new plants. Heck yeah, now I'm happy. I think I'm gonna go ahead and send my token over. Since we can now grow him really fast and really big, really quickly. Fast and quickly mean the same thing. Alright, but I gained a bunch of life off that, so that's fine. I am going to go ahead and get Mawu up to size. That took out his death toucher, so now things are much easier. Yeah, if he gets spark harvest, things things get bad, so I am I'm fine with the way that went. I got value out of him. Oh, price of betrayal. We'll seek a new path. That's okay. <laughs> Please run. A chase stokes the forge. I desire is your head. Yeah, we, we want Zhang Yu and Dovin back. Alright, watch this. <laughs> permanent, permanent, proliferate, proliferate. Dovin and Yang Yu. I uh, don't need that. Son. Help me through this. Ah, <laughs> oh, that felt sweet. <laughs> Takes him down to eight. This guy's gonna have life link next turn. If he's still alive. I have Dovin, so that's gonna click him up again and click Mo up to 17? 18, 19? So it'll be a 19, 19 trample if he doesn't die here. Think I got this one. Yeah, he has no cards left in his hand. I think I just got this here. If he attacks him with everything, I just gotta block enough to not die, which I can do. Even with Menace. That just made it even worse. That's fine. Initiate. You are not worthy. I wrote an entire treatise on your impeding Be your best failure. self. Cease aggressions and live. Okay. Go 
to game three. Hopefully this one will be quicker. That was a nice showing from Plain Wide Celebration, though. Gives you an idea of the power level of that card. That card's gross. Green and a white. That doesn't look good. Uh, I think we're going to have to throw that back. Wow. Um, that was unfortunate. Guess I should have kept the first one? I ain't going any lower than that, though. Yeah, that's fine. This guy will catch us up if we get a chance to cast him. pretty solid still. Don't know what he's got in his hand, but don't look like I'm in any deep trouble. Now here's the question. Do I cast Epiphany here to see if he has a counter spell, or do I cast the Elite Guard Mage? Both of them would really help me out. I think I cast Epiphany. Okay. Wow, that's pretty good. I think we'd like to have her first. Yeah, okay. I think I'm fine with everything in this hand. I don't know what he's got in his hand, but it's really freaking me out right now. Yeah, yeah, that card will set me back a little bit. It's all right. I got a handful of great targets in there, so... No matter what he takes, I'm still okay. I hope he doesn't take Sahili. Sahili's what I wasn't before to take. See, I'm more okay with that. That's fine. Wow, 
Well, that's annoying. Gets rid of him. Yep. I know how to stop you. Oh crap, it's a legendary. Daggummit. I thought her ability got around that. Well, that's stupid. Well, I messed that up. Yeah, yeah, no, I really thought it had the claws in there that it, if it was legendary, then it created another non-legendary version, but that's, that's some other card I'm thinking about. fast okay I did that right this time we got a good chance at winning here despite a few stupid mistakes ah, I'm not too concerned about that All right, he's down to six. Go ahead and wait a turn to cast this, just in case he comes out with something big and goofy. It looks like he's flooding out now. Hmm. 
And I'm flooding out as well. You know, I got many cards that cleanly deal with both this and just grow my forces, and it'd be nice to find any of them. That is a start. Okay, not going to attack with anything yet, because he could still double block and kill that. Although, let me think this one through. If I attack with everything, he's forced to block that. That actually might be the way to go. Because, yeah, I mean, he's, he's like absolutely forced to deal with this right now. If he doesn't double block here, then the game's all but over. game's still all but over. But okay. Let's see what he draws. Okay, that'll give him another picture. Not the only prize I desire. I think that's Your game. Head. Yeah. Yeah, that's game. do that? I'm so dumb sometimes. Wow. That was special stupid. It creates a zero zero. Whew! Life is hard when you're dumb. Let's just hope he doesn't draw a creature or removal spell and we'll win next turn instead. <laughs> That's what happens when you do not think things through, folks. Ramming speed. <laughs> that was funny though. Like it was almost worth it to screw up that bad just to see that and like, oh yeah. I mean that's fine. I'll learn from this. Okay. All right. 
Well, we got a we got a second chance to avoid, you know, losing the game over complete stupidity. So we got there. It wasn't the prettiest thing ever, but we got there. That was a nice pack. Alright, to the next game. Let's see if we can get three wins out of this draft. At least. Oh. Koe? 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 Whatever. Um, hmm, no land's not going to work for me. That. I'm going to say that's acceptable, just because if I get three lands, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. That keep is fine. Unless he counterspells that, in which case it ends up not being fine at all. That's a shame I didn't get the counter, but that's okay. At least we have all our mana colors opened up. There's a four for it. Um, I'll take a turn off for Epiphany. We definitely want to land to cast this turn. I think it'd be nice to have Mo on the board. for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Alright. We're gonna... Let's see. Let's take a turn off there. Make that be a 1-1. One, one. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. My acute awareness of your imperfections is maddening. Up to six. What do we want? I think we want the skull. And we don't bother using his ability yet. That's a big one. Make the tempo play here. Now I'm salty. cards in his hand. Four, five, six, seven. 
what do we got down here? Epiphany and so nothing we can really pull out to help us. Okay, that happened. Uh, yeah, we'll probably just take a turn off here to cast. You've never seen anything like this. Looking to elevate yourself. Uh, perhaps a pair of stilts? I'll get one damage in here, anyway. Something smells fishy here. Solid card. I'm well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. yet because he can take out Dovin and then I can just get it back with plain white celebration got it. my insight I didn't foresee this life is hard kid more land than I need. Get back those two. So we will turn card, return card, citizen, citizen. Actually, this is better. I guess. Probably should have returned three, but that's okay. and found wanting. Curious. Your defects don't seem to bother you. Do I have your attention now? Alright. 
that seems pretty good. Getting tired of seeing you draw a bunch of cards off that thing. It'd be nice if I could draw something other than land. I'm well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. Oh my god! Land, land, land. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. There's a good card. Too bad it's not mine. because I didn't have enough of them. When pursuing creativity, defy convention. So I expect he'll have a combat trick here, or maybe he just won't attack. Oh, that's, that's very good. I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. So we end our turn. We'll grow some dudes. I can bring back Dovin, the transmutation. Callistus missile might be good. No, I can't bring that back. Okay. Alright, so we're just coming in with those two. 6-6. Six, six. He's got an awful lot of cards in hand.
Oh no. Well, that sucked. I, I can't sack him until it doesn't have uh, summoning chains. I was definitely planning on it. <laughs> but he killed it before I could do anything. Yep, yeah, that was what I had planned. It just didn't turn out. Hmm. Now I'm not in a very good situation. I have just drawn far too many lands here. That's not going to get the job done. I'm just going to move this along. We are way too far behind. Okay, again, I think the Fairy's Time Twist, only I'm not taking out the spell weird this time. Um... Maybe just the Fire Mine Vessel? We haven't actually needed it. Yeah, yeah, if I was able to sack the Spellkeeper there, I could have went infinite. It's unfortunate. Yeah, that's fine. That's a good start. blue mana. I can get this thing out. Or white. Either one of those. Um, do I care about that thing? I don't think I do. It's hard to be a genius surrounded by lesser minds. <laughs> Yep, it's slightly bigger. I can't cast that. Hmm. Tempo play it is. Epiphany into a Plains. We'll throw the forest away. Bubble you. When pursuing creativity, with the two of you. defy convention. Yeah. <laughs> 
establish dominance. <laughs> um, I'm two and one right now, uh, Seth, actually. Um, it's not too bad. Ah, I killed my dude again. Stop killing my guys. I like them. We'll just turn this into a 1-1 one -one so he's not a problem anymore. Nope, nothing to do here. I've done things I'm not proud of. Okay. Time for the flux channel. And we will. I don't think there's anything I really need to use that on yet. We'll just bubble the I'd be less first. frustrated if you had fewer flaws. Alright, let's see where we're at. Fighting here is more fun than in the Undercity. He's got a lot of spark harvests. Yeah, no, Sahili's coming out next. Or actually, maybe the Guild Mage is. Yeah, because right now I can go ahead and cast the Guild Mage without fear of getting it, uh, getting it counter spelled. So. Well, that worked out pretty well. Get on the team. Well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. Now Sahili's coming out. This isn't cast to get because it's it wasn't as good a tempo play as the other stuff. So Gideon, that's a thing. And it's indestructible, because why wouldn't it be? That's okay, it can be indestructible. I just keep making these. Okay, now, Sahili, get on board. My creations are kings um, of beauty. Make the spider not be in the way. Frighten me. When pursuing creativity, defy convention. Okay, that's it. Share in my light.
Uh, we're definitely doing a Dominaria draft soon. Let's Healy take that. Yeah. Okay. Enough. No, that proliferate there really uh, ate my lunch. Gideon will be gone. This guy will be gone. I won't forgive surrender. this. Then we will bubble him. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. Looks like that Dominaria draft's gonna happen pretty soon because looks like I'm just not holding up to the onslaught here. This guy's just got every card he needs. I don't think anything short of plain white uh, celebration will save me. And even it, I don't think it's going to get the job done. No, because at best, that makes him a little guy. I'm going to attack with him, which is down to 10. I got two blockers. Block bigs and bigs. 
and I still died. Hey, it was a valiant effort. I don't feel bad. I just, uh, I just flooded out twice in a row, so what can you do? Alright, we got three packs and 800. 